Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, Gramajo here. Welcome to another week in Web3. Uh, this week, we'll be talking about Zynga. We'll be doing a deep dive, doing a little different uh, from the previous week. So let me know what you think about this new format. Yeah, let's dive in. All right, this week's issue of the report brought to you by all the shitheads out there. Yeah, this week's top story, again, is uh, Zynga announces its first Web3 game, Sugartown. Uh, we're going to dive in on why this is a big deal. So for some background and context for people, Zynga is a mobile game developer. Um, they've been around in the space for a very long time. Uh, if you're old enough or you're a boomer in Web3, um, they are the creators of Farmville, which was a very popular game uh, back in 2010. Um had a ton of downloads. I mean, I think my roommate in college was playing this game. They also are uh, known for uh, Mafia Wars, if you're familiar with that one. Uh, they've also acquired uh, Words with Friends, which is a really popular game. A couple years later, uh, if you're a little bit on the younger side, they're located in San Mateo. Um, uh, Zynga was recently acquired by Take-Two Interactive Software for $12.7 billion. The company hasn't been doing too hot. Uh, which is why it was kind of a nice acquisition target by take two um deal was done kind of all cash uh pretty recent stuff and this is uh after that acquisition so they are now going into web three um they recently had a spaces and i'll kind of dive in into some of the things that were brought up in the spaces uh, it's about an hour and a half spaces so if you want to go listen to it i'll link it below but I'll give you a summary here as well. Uh, for this project, Zynga partnered up with Forte, which is another uh, blockchain company uh, that's going to be doing a lot of the infrastructure. Uh, Forte themselves actually also recently uh, did a VC round and they got a ton of money. So uh project seems to be kind of well stacked. Um, and we can, uh, we're going to dive in on kind of why uh, this is really big news. So... For Zynga, um, you know, obviously they have a lot of the Web2 uh, knowledge, so they get into this in the spaces as well, you know, that they have a lot of product managers and over a century of, uh, of experience in developing in Web2. Um, they also have a data analytics arm, so I think that's what led them to be able to kind of perform really well in uh, the Facebook marketplace. Uh, there was a change in kind of the way the Facebook marketplace um presented games a long time ago. So that's kind of what led a little bit to their downfall in Web 2. Uh, for this game specifically, Sugartown, I think what's interesting is that um, uh, the team launched this in stealth. Uh, so what that means is they didn't really put their Zynga name behind it. They kind of created Sugartown uh, as an anonymous company or without really using the Zynga name. Uh, and they really emphasized this in the spaces uh, in trying to say that um, they really wanted to let the IP itself, and this is a new IP for them for the first time in, in a couple years, um, and they really wanted to let it speak for itself. Uh, one thing that they noticed, um, the team mentioned that they noticed that a lot of Web2 brands, uh, when they come into Web3, they really use their name or kind of really like dive and... Um, force kind of the the name uh, so you know that it's basically you know louis vuitton in web3 or gucci in web3 like they really put that in your face um so it gets a lot of hype obviously but and it, you know obviously companies that have been around for 100 plus years uh one one they're rare so i could see why they're doing that but they were kind of where they were coming from was they wanted to make sure that people really like uh their project for the project itself the story uh, they're trying to build a community. They're not really trying to build it off of straight hype only. They realize that uh, with hype only, kind of people leave. Um, there's more speculation. So, um, yeah, I think I really enjoyed kind of them launching this in stealth, which is pretty great. Another kind of big key difference that they really get into for uh, for them specifically is that for a lot of Web3 games, um, they usually uh, launch a mint but the game itself isn't ready. So for Sugartown, it's actually not the case. They are pretty much ready to go with the game. So the mint and the reveal of the gameplay will be uh, pretty short, uh, very narrow window, which is great. 
Um, they hired a lot of product managers uh, in Web3. Uh, a lot of the founders or people leading the charge on this project, you know, they are collectors. They are in the in some of the biggest projects and they have like admiration for, you know, Board Ape, Yacht Club, Azuki, uh, Azuki, Whale Swoosh, um, Zeneca. So they're doing a spaces with Zeneca as well in the future. So uh, they're hoping that with their, you know, over century plus experience uh, within the team from Web2 and kind of some of the new uh, blood that they brought in for Web3 that they could kind of bridge that gap successfully and deliver a great product. Um, you know, only time will tell. Uh, Another kind of key difference between Zynga and this project compared to other Web3 games is, uh, you know, they are a publicly traded company, so they weren't able to divulge too much. That's, uh, I work in legal, so that kind of makes sense for me from a compliance perspective. So uh, they, they wanted to be uh, protective of, you know, forward-looking statements, uh, which is kind of saying you don't want to over-promise, under-deliver, because then you can get sued and open up for lawsuits. So really kind of enjoyed that from, from the team themselves. Um, let's see, um, one game that they mentioned that they kind of took a lot of, uh, inspiration from, or not inspiration, but, uh, they admire the team is a uh, wolf game and the pixel ball acquisition. So they, it, it really did sound like the team is here for the long haul that they've been, uh, observing web three. Um, and they realize it's its own thing. So when they got to the, like the Q and a session towards the end, you know, someone asked regarding, you know, free to play, play to earn, you know, kind of some of these strategies and how it works in web three in this game. Uh, one thing that they, you know, kind of made a call out is that, you know, they're trying to build a community and they're trying to have open communication with their community. So they, uh, were saying that there might be new strategies of sustainability. So obviously, you know, they're in the business of making money, not, you know, going broke and not succeeding. So, um, they were saying that there might be other sustainable methods that benefit, you know, holders, the company, uh, that maybe we've never thought of just because web three is so different. Um, so yeah, like, if you're interested in the project, make sure to check it out. It launched on August 17th, so feel free to check it out. I've also have a more in-depth kind of uh, breakdown of that spaces um, in my newsletter. So I'll put that down below if you want to subscribe for for premium kind of uh, content out there. Uh, and just as a last bit too, uh, this project is tar is connected to Farmville in a way, so um, which is really nice. I think. Um, I'll leave it with this, where, uh, the team said that this, uh, the connection between Farmville to Sugartown is sort of, um, a reflection or a metaphor of kind of the company itself, you know, where they were in web two and now they're kind of going into this new world. Uh, so the farm three that existed in Farmville, if you played that game, um, you know, they're visiting their friend in Sugartown, the mayor. Uh, so that's the connection between Farmville and Sugartown. And so they uh, eloquent, eloquently kind of explained it as uh, this is also Zynga's kind of, it's like a metaphor of Zynga on the team is like, you know, they're moving from that Web 2 space into the new Web 3 space. So uh, this is uh, this week's biggest news, uh, Zynga getting into Web 3 and why it's a big deal. Uh, also this past week uh, in notable sales, Pulga para segura comprada uh, for all my Spanish speakers is uh, we had a sale of En Route, which is a piece by Grant Yun. Uh, this sold for 8.4 ETH. You know, obviously not the biggest uh, sale. I don't really go for, you know, just big numbers. I also like to go for things that uh, stand out to me. So the reason why this one stood out to me was the first sale of uh, this piece in about over eight months, I believe. Um, so um, this is a physical with avant art or arte um, and, and an NFT uh, connection as well. So it's a collaboration. Uh, I believe this is just for the NFT, not the actual NFT plus the physical. So yeah, uh, going further on kind of the, the more big numbers, the splash that everybody wants is we had a 63 Fidenza sale. Uh, it seems like even though the floor is a lot higher than this, about 70 to 80 on Fidenzas. Uh, they've been kind of trading around the 60 area in the last couple of weeks. So, uh, you know, if you have that kind of money, go get yourself into Fidenza. Uh, and then 
you know, the biggest come up of, of this past week was definitely somewhat fat fingered, uh, a grifter for 1.3, a really nice looking grifter too. Um, so congrats to, to the person that got this for 1.3 ETH. Uh, you're a little fucker cause this is, this is crazy. Uh, and then for those, uh, in the Zeely community, um, you know, I have a leaderboard of all the people that, you know, watch my content, read my content and everything. So make sure to get in on the fun. It's not too late to win any rewards. Uh, I'll be doing some rewards in a couple months. Uh, I've been thinking about like an X copy piece or a Tiffatron piece. So, uh, definitely get in there. This is the current leaderboard. Uh, I'll put the link down below. Uh, yeah. Thanks again for tuning in for, uh, you know, this week's report. Uh, I will be off. Uh, as you can see, I got my luggage in the back. I will be off for a couple of weeks uh, from a YouTube perspective. Maybe I'll make another video uh, here or there, but I will be off for the next couple five weeks. So uh, thanks again for tuning in. Uh, I hope you enjoyed um, this week's video. Uh, like, subscribe. Uh, the Zeely word uh, for, for this week uh, is let's make it Zynga. So Z-Y. Uh, NGA, uh, all lower caps. Uh, thanks again. Take care.